Konnichiwa, and welcome to the 210th podcast of the NZ Rowan County Anime Group. My name is Robert Clown, co-president of this club. Today we're going to try to cover what happened at our last Saturday meeting and update you on some things that have been going on in uh, our anime group and also two things that have been going on around the world. Now, first I want to take the time out to welcome back an old member who'd been gone for about eight months. Nathan Reiner. It was great seeing you there, Nathan. Glad that you came to our meeting, and thank you. Now, we did at the meeting talk about some things. We talked about the tsunami in Japan and the uh, problems that they're suffering over there right now with the loss of so much power and having power outages over there in Japan. We also have been talking about uh, what's been happening over here. As you know, four kids had... um, has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, and also, too, they have a lawsuit against them as well. And we talked about this. Now, I remember Cameron feels like that that will not affect the uh, gaming market of Yu-Gi-Oh! Because the owner of Yu-Gi-Oh! is the one who's suing 4Kids, and they pulled their license from 4Kids. Now, the the card company is a little bit different uh, than the actual 4Kids, So he feels like that people who are into the game already are pretty much going to stay there and probably Yu-Gi-Oh will probably run itself for quite a while longer. Probably come something like a Dungeons and Dragons uh, type of game and it'll just constantly be going until whenever it ends. (laughs) I also talked about with another member about uh, the North American branch of Tokyo Pop closing their doors. Now, that does hurt us quite a bit. Tokyo Pop brought over manga and also two anime series on DVDs. I bought the Tokyo Pop version on DVDs of the great teacher Onizuka and also to Brit- one, at least one copy of Brigadoon uh, DVD. So those DVDs are going to be probably getting pretty scarce um, and hard to find. So it's kind of bad to see uh, Tokyo Pop close their doors. Now, we do still have two companies that are putting out manga here in the United States. Viz Media and Del Rey are still in business, so maybe that will uh, keep them from going under uh, because now they're going to be handling uh, the demand road for bringing manga over here to the United States. Now, I did find out about this new company called Ness America. Now, they're basically a gaming company, but they are starting to break out and going into uh, bringing anime over here to the United States. I found out recently that they have bought the rights to bring over here to the United States the anime series Akari Under the Bridge. Unfortunately, they're only putting it out on Blu-ray, and I don't want to buy a Blu-ray player. I don't have the money. I don't really want to go and spend the money to go buy a Blu-ray player just to get Akari Under the Bridge. Even though I like the series very much, and I think very highly of it. Also too at the meeting we also talked about the woman who got recently banded from doing any new voice acting. She's the voice of Haruhi Tamiya and did the song uh, God Knows in that anime series. She's been banded from doing any new anime. The bad problem that we're running into we don't know the reason why. We tried speculation and speculation is not really good. To use an old cliche from Sherlock Holmes I need data. I cannot make bricks without clay. And that's using an old cliche from Sherlock Holmes. Well, our next event that we're going to be at will be at Free Comic Book Day on May 7th. We'll be at the Comic Mon Store from 11 to 6. We are asking all cross players to please come out and support this event. It's very fun. It's a good reason to go dress up. And plus you can pick up some free comic books as well. Now, we hit a snag with our May 14th picnic. Uh, Tim has been having a hard time getting a hold of the city park in order to get our uh, shelter. So hopefully by the next podcast, we will have the information and we'll be able to tell you the time and place of when we're having our picnic. Now, May 21st, me us in front of the Books A Million at 5 o'clock. At 5.30, we'll go over to a person's home to watch Title Line Blue. In June, uh, Cameron, one of our members, is going to be showing his favorite anime. July, uh, JR is going to be showing his favorite anime. And then Jamil will be showing hers in August. In August, we will also be having a display at the Rowan Public Library on anime. Well, 
I hope that you're doing well today, and I wish you a very good day. Goodbye.